I keep preaching on this channel that as a beginner, it is incredibly important to write as much code as you possibly can. Otherwise, you won't become a good programmer. Because only in practice do you really internalize the various programming concepts that you need to be able to write your own applications. And many programming beginners know that, but don't really put it into practice. Please think about how many times you have manipulated yourself. As a newbie programmer, you often have an idea for a simple program, but then don't implement it because you see that others have already programmed it, in quotation marks, better. For example, you could have had the idea of writing a simple pixel graphic editor, but then you kind of let it go because there is already Photoshop. Or you don't program a small tool that you came up with because you think other programmers would laugh at it because it's actually a pointless idea if you put it in quotation marks or because you couldn't program it well because you still don't have the basics. The more you allow yourself to be guided by such thoughts, the more you prevent yourself from becoming a good programmer. Because it's not about revolutionizing the world with your own programs at the beginning or getting rich with an ingenious niche in the market. No, please understand one very important thing. In the beginning, it is about learning. As a beginner, you don't program for others, you code for yourself. At the beginning of your programming career, it's all about learning. And it doesn't matter if other people have something from your program or not, or whether you use them regularly yourself. It's about you implementing programs and learning something along the way. You will always find people on the internet who have already programmed what you want to program, and often in a much better way than you could do for beginners. But that doesn't matter at all, because that's not the point. In every project you implement, you gain new skills that you could use in later projects, and that is also the true value of software that you write as a beginner. Not that anyone admires you, or that you solve a big problem with it and thus close a gap in the market. The price for your hard work and often quoted pointless software you've written is knowledge. And knowledge is your greatest asset as a programmer. The more you have of it, the bigger and really more meaningful projects you can implement later. So ignore elite programmers who smile at you. Ignore the thousands of alternatives that already exist for your project ideas. And ignore the fact that you only solve your own little problems at the beginning. Because then you will quickly become a good programmer and can devote yourself to extensive projects. By the way, if you're a Java developer and want a quick and easy solution to find bugs in your code, remove old redundant code, or just want to learn how to code properly from scratch, then definitely check out Jay Sparrow. Jay Sparrow is your Java refactoring partner and supports 14 different Java versions including Java 17 and can do a lot for you and your code. The best thing about Jay Sparrow is that you can use it for free and just try the free trial version. On our homepage, you will also find an extensive documentation area that explains exactly how JSparrow works and how certain rules work. Don't waste your time as a programmer refactoring old legacy code or spending hours searching for bugs. With JSparrow, you have a coach who can replace entire lines of code with one click, saving you a lot of time. JSparrow already saved open source projects thousands of hours and is definitely the only Eclipse IDE add-on you will ever need as a Java developer. If this sounds interesting to you, then just take a look for yourself. A link is in the video description. I hope this little video opened one or the other eyes and helped. If so, I would of course be very happy about a subscription and a thumbs up because we regularly upload programming related content here. With this in mind, I say goodbye now, have a nice day and see you again in the next video.